Netanyahu is suspected of providing regulatory concessions to uh, Shaul Elovich, the controlling shareholder of Bezik Telecommunications, in exchange for favorable coverage from Bezik's news website, Walla. In this case, Mandelblit is expected to announce an indictment for bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. Netanyahu said yesterday that, quote, the accusations of corruption are absurd. The Prime Minister didn't give to or receive anything from uh, Elovich. Michael. Do you believe there's enough evidence in, the, in this case? Will the Attorney General uh, be able to prove that the Prime Minister was willing to give these benefits to, to, to Elovich? I, I believe the whole case, uh, 4,000, is the most ridiculous case. It's not about facts. The facts are uh, basically uh, uh, not very much disputed as far as we know. Maybe there are things that I, I speak according to what I read in the, everybody read in the media. Uh, the fact is that um, Netanyahu, actually, nobody blames him that he gave something over. He, he just approved recommendations that were in the ministry for many years to join yes with Bezek because yes is not strong enough. You know, when I added the, a law that enabled yes to start, uh, so we said yes must be with Bezek, otherwise they will una be unable to survive. So maybe he expedited something that had been approved anyway, and the people who were in charge and made the decision say Netanyahu didn't change them. And in return, uh, or not in return, he, uh, he got a balanced media, give and take between, in, in the media, between politicians. And, 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 and broadcasting of, are, are of, always, it's as, you, how, you don't, how the, you the don't. The office was meddling and, and trying to influence. Specific headlines, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that Walla was not a very pro Netanyahu uh, uh, internet side. And what do they say? That Netanyahu is an idiot. Because what they say that he gave a billion dollars, and they, right. they, the they, they put this number, billion yeah. dollars to Alovic in order, uh, shekels, sorry, shekels, yeah. it's also <laughs> enough in money, for what? For good coverage right. in the internet side, for, for billion dollars, he, he could buy, he could buy a Diota you know what? And, and Channel 2. It does, it does seem like a weak point, right? this, this quid pro quo, I mean, a few, a few uh, uh, positive articles on a website for hundreds of, of millions of dollars, this is like... First of all, uh, let's uh, remember who we're talking about, we're talking about Benjamin Netanyahu, who's obsessed with the media, who's uh, mentor and, and, and uh, uh, provider, uh, Sheldon Adelson, opened a uh, free newspaper for him and changed the, the entire landscape mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, news in Israel uh, with a pro-BB uh, uh, newspaper mm -hmm. that is distributed for free, uh, with Adelson losing uh, millions of shekels uh, doing that, and yeah. Netanyahu uh, likes to control the media for for a politician. It's very important to have it, and we know that you know the the uh, state witness uh, in this uh, case is uh, the former uh, uh, right hand man of Netanyahu, uh, Nir Chefetz, uh, who basically, as an advisor of Netanyahu, controlled the news in Walla. Look. The, the attorney general is the former cabinet try to cabinet him. Try to cabinet to him. no control, controlled tries to the balance. news the news website and you know the it still was negative the attorney general is the former cabinet minister, uh, secretary of Netanyahu himself mm -hmm. he is very close he was very close to Netanyahu he is a great lawyer a great person of law who was the former uh, uh, attorney general of the IDF um, you know. You have a, a police investigation that found uh, a, a strong uh, evidence to uh, bribery. You have now the Attorney General uh, uh, about to publish his recommendation for, for an indictment. What else? I mean, there's no deep state. Next, they're going to tell, tell us that there are reptilians. That there are reptilians, uh, 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 you know, behind uh, the metal blade. Is there one, is there one the media, media that every politician is not trying to pressure and uh, improve the improve yeah. government? Know it. Have to know it. It's not a question of deep state. It's a question of being allowed. We are allowed to criticize the police and the attorney Everybody general. Allowed. Just I'm allowed as to we're criticize allowed. you no, for doing that's, so. No, absolutely. But this idea that somehow if we say that the police and the attorney general are uh, doing something 
something wrong, that that's somehow undemocratic or something. No, you're saying um, that they're, but, they're politically but I motivated. Say, no, I will People say, who are right I didn't, first of all, I didn't Whoa, say that. Kind of I, but I will, no, but I will say, <laughs> about that, I will say something oh, that, thank you. That's, it that's is the, the Attorney yeah. General approved that deal yeah. that Alevich yeah. is being accused of this business. And what's more, PR people, for all politicians, pressure news outlets all the time. I can tell you I've been pressured by PR people my entire career. And what's more, when somebody gives me an interview, an important person, and it's made very, very clear uh, that I'd better write something good about him or I'll never have access again. And we all know it. And this kind of uh, holier-than-thou business but is really annoying. Not That's money. what we're talking about. We're he talking didn't about billion, get money. Billion no, that deal, yeah, he took state that money. Deal, no, he took that our deal, tax that money deal was and gave it. I want to let. As, as, that I want to let. Okay, well, guys, wait a minute. Deal Ellie, I want to let her respond. Yeah, just just to raise or, or point, uh, pinpoint two more philosophical <laughs> questions in this respect. And the first one is: How can one measure positive coverage? Is it, is it the headline, the uh, the positioning of the story for how long it lasted on the? It's 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 a philosophic slash technical was, question was, here. Was the photo nice of her? Was it not exactly. nice of her? It's, 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 <laughs> the, the technical aspect of it is not that simple. And another, again, semi-philosophical question is, should you blame the uh, uh, the uh, professional who did his job well, like mm -hmm. Neil Hefetz, who mm -hmm. his own interest was to promote the agenda of his boss, right. and he definitely delivered, or the one who enabled it? And in this respect, it's the owner of the media company kind of a little about Michael Cohen, who did everything it. for his boss as well. He was doing a good job, wasn't he? No, yeah, to a certain comparison, but I just think exactly. that it kind of reminds me. Exactly. I want to talk a little more about another case, uh, case exactly. 2000. Michael Cohen is a liar. He's going to jail. <laughs> going to use that. Yeah, he's going to jail. One, okay. one very important example really quickly. to prove how, 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 how wrong they are and how much it is unprecedented. You know, every city in Israel has a mayor, and in mayors are local newspapers. You never found a local newspaper in Israel who wrote a bad word about the mayor because... Uh, uh, and, 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 and Many of them. And and most some, of them, some mayors went to jail for exactly that. No, no, never, never, yes. okay, I never, I never. Yes. And they, exactly because that. they use city budgets to support those newspapers. Okay, so, so the right is a positive Michael. or nothing. Michael.